Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to show you first of all how to open up the local group policy editor on your machine. I'm going to show you how you can change policies within the local group policy editor. I'm going to show you how to check what policies are applied to your machine. I'm then going to show you how you can add ADM templates to the local group policy editor so you can change additional application settings such as Google Chrome which I'm going to show you today. Now first of all to access the local local group policy editor click on the start menu and type in gp edit.msc and click on that application there gp edit now i'm showing you this on windows 7 uh, the process is going to be exactly the same on all versions of windows so under these folders they have uh, some of them have subfolders so you just need to work out where the setting is that you want to apply. Uh, please be aware that this is the local group policy editor on this machine. If you have any group policy objects, which are GPOs that are applied on a domain level, they're going to override whatever setting you have here. So I'm going to show you now how to see what group policies are enabled on your machine. So if you click on start and type in rsop.msc and if you click on that application there, I've actually got it loaded here and I've set a regional setting. So we can see here, this is the setting that's been set. We can see I've set it to enabled and the group policy name, local group policy. So we know that this setting has been set via the local group policy. So if there was another policy here and it says, I don't know, it will have a specific name for your domain that, uh, and it's domain policy, that will override the local policy. So just be aware that even though you've set that, it, it could be overwritten by the domain policy. Right, now the last thing I want to show you is how you add, because I want to make a, a change to Google Chrome. Uh, but as you can see here, these are just like uh, the Windows base policies. If you want to make any application uh, policies, you can't because there's no settings here. So what you need to do is you need to find an ADM template. So here I've just Googled Chrome ADM template and there's lots of places that have created uh, ADM templates. I've actually downloaded the one from these guys. I've tested it and it seems to do exactly what I want. Okay, if you go back to the other group policy editor, if you highlight administrative templates, if you right click on it and click add, click add again, and here is the ADM. So if you apply that and close, now here, classic administrative templates if you expand that we can see that this is basically that ADM file that we just imported so yeah if you wanted to set a proxy server you can set it in here There we go. So everybody that will log on to this computer now will pick up this setting so it will enable this proxy server for all users. Alright, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please post them below. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you.